What's up guys, we'll go back to show, we'll go back to another video. And in today's video, we are working with the i3 once again. Uh, we are with Muffin, uh, she's color matched, the same color, white and black, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you're a little gray, but I love her. We finally got a bunch of parts in. I mean, literally have parts sitting in my living room. I should probably take that to the garage before my wife gets pissed. Today, I'm gonna try to install literally everything. So in this video, we're installing everything that I have for the i3 onto the car. That's including both headlights, the upper radiator support, the uh, hood, hopefully with the two hood latches, the front crash bar, even though the frame is not fixed yet. We're gonna be installing one wheel. I got the wheel repaired. Um, one of the tires, or we, one of the tires, I mean the wheels are perfectly fine. One of the tires needed some work on it. So we just got that patched up in my local La Shrop completely for free, so that is a score. And then the other wheel, the other tire needs a whole new tire. It's like 200 bucks, so that's a whole mission in itself. But before we actually get into today's video, which is actually repairing this thing and making it look 10 times better, today's video is sponsored by New Air. very 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 long time I actually have a couple of their fridges I have one right now in my guest bedroom I have one right now which you guys just saw the new one and then I actually have the outdoor one sitting right there I absolutely love new air in their fridges I literally use them every single place they have outdoor ones indoor ones or if you guys want one that literally no other company really makes which is like nice outdoor ones I know I'm sure a lot of companies actually make outdoor ones but this one is really 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 nice and it has a lock and everything so um, just in case you think one of your neighbors are jumping over the fence to take one of your you know nice coca-cola cans for 50 cents um, they can't because you locked it so everything's gravy in the navy you know what i mean but anyway let's head out let's it's okay baby let's work on the bmw i3 now we actually have a couple new things here for the i3 and uh some of those things are we have some brand new clips for the door some of you guys told me that i can't actually put back on the door skin without actually replacing the clip so i went down to bmw i picked up some clips it's the only place that really sells these clips i picked this up off ebay which is a keyless entry door handle with the two connectors that's the one that my car has thankfully the exact same color so once we actually slap on the door panel Panel, we should have a door handle. It is missing this little piece, but for now, um, it should work just fine. We had one good headlight bracket, so I got another uh, headlight bracket from BMW. Um, so again, no one else really sells these parts, guys, so everything you have to go down to BMW for. And then over here, we actually got a couple other little neat things. So uh, this is obviously our situation with the E92 M3. We're still trying to put in that one subframe bolt. Um, I got the rivets. A lot of you guys told me to replace uh, the current airbag uh, instead of the clips is to actually use rivets. I do recommend actually using rivets as well, so that's gonna be something we'll be doing as soon as you find new headliner but you guys already saw we put in the current airbag we used clips instead of rivets i think honestly it might be good but better safe than sorry we're gonna go ahead and install these rivets and at the same time replace the headliner when we actually find some headliner so we get headliner we're gonna remove the headliner remove those clips rivet it on put on the new headliner and that m3 is gonna look really good other things that we also got in as well this is for the bumper so um i don't know if i told you guys but the bumper basically when i got a new fender from bmw it didn't actually come with this piece right here which is the bumper cover guide this thing sits on the fender so you can actually bolt the bumper to the fender if you don't actually have this you have to zip tie it that's what i did and uh let's just say the zip ties broke off and that's why we have no bumper on the car also and another part i ended up getting from bmw is this bad boy right here you guys know that we have the atlantis blue f80 m3 and this is a beautiful bmw individual badge nowhere on the card does it actually say individual and this is sold by bmw and i really wanted something in the car just makes it feel like it's an individual so that is super 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 sick now without further ado let's go ahead and get the wheels on the i3 so we got to drive this thing in the garage and work on it inside the garage so we have this one which now has air in it which is a huge plus that one had a uh tire like gouge and nail in it so they pulled that out um they fixed that up air in the tire completely for free so that is really good a lot of tire shops actually repair tires for free it's kind of like their way to bring it in customers so um that is a huge plus and then this guy right here as you guys can tell 
is completely ripped apart. Uh, my boy Erlon got me a tire, um, but unfortunately, uh, that's a 20 inch tire. We have 19 inch rims. So, um, yeah, that sucks. So, unfortunately, we still need to find a tire for this car. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but not a lot of places actually sell 19 inch rims with such thin widths. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but no one sells these tires. These are pretty much a special order. You have to own them online. And I think the only company that really makes them is Bridgestone. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's get these wheels on the i3 and get that i3 in this garage. And now that we have the i3 in the garage, boys, time to turn on the LEDs. Yeah, buddy. Now, before working on absolutely anything, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the positive and the negative. We have so much things to get done on this car. And from here, from this angle right here, this is all gonna be fully assembled. This whole top end with headlights, hood, brackets, everything's gonna be fully assembled. The only thing that's not gonna be assembled is the bottom end. Reason we're doing this is because we want the car to drive and we want the car to have most of the parts on there. So when they actually cut the frames and line up everything up, they can match it up with the upper radiator support since the upper radiator support is good to go. Plus we are waiting. We have like a three month wait time on this car. So I figured might as well get as much things on this car as possible, declutter the garage. And at the same time, at least when I park it outside, it doesn't really you know upset my neighbors. And at the same time, this car be ready to go when the time comes to get this thing worked on and possibly just get another build in the meantime because three months waiting yeah nor is not gonna like not upload for three months that's just not it's not gonna happen <laughs> so any anyway, any anyway, i think the first thing i want to do is knock out this door panel um so yeah when do you guys reach out to me in the comments i don't know if it was the comments or instagram i read the comments i read you guys' dms so i really appreciate every single one of you guys who actually reach out to me but the clips that go into all of these right over here um this was actually missing one right there those are these guys right here we need to, need to put them on the skin and just slap the skin on the door again Again, hopefully this goes smoothly. Finally guys, now we can cut off this janky zip tie right here. Clean title. <laughs> I mean, it works now. That, I, to me, right there, it came with the door skin. All we paid is about $10 for clips, $40 for the door handle, the original door handle. Um, that's looking pretty good. It looks like it's working just perfectly now, so no more. We can say goodbye to the zip tie operation. Guys, the car's already looking so much better just because of that door skin. That made the car look so naked. Obviously, this flat tire is not helping, but at least this side, now we got a good tire on here, and this whole side's looking really good as well. So pretty much from the back to the front, we knocked it out. Let's go ahead and start working on the top portion right here. So the next thing guys I want to install is this upper radiator support. With the i3, you don't need the crash bar and all that other stuff to get the hood to shut and the headlights to mount. This upper radiator support, which thankfully does line up pretty dang perfectly, uh, we'll, be able to, we'll be able to shut the hood, add the headlight brackets, add the headlights, um, and literally perfect the whole top end of the situation. So um, yeah, this car is gonna look pretty much 90% put back together other than the front bumper and everything going on down here. But actually, before actually installing this, just in case I can't actually install the AC lines again, I'm gonna go ahead and install the AC lines and coolant hoses again, um, just so, again, I, I, don't, I don't know, I think it'd be kind of hard to install the AC lines just to actually get this thing fully bolted on, just because of the way I had to pull it out, I had to angle it up like this. So yeah, let's do the AC lines first.
Guys, this is the headlight we repaired and look how sturdy that is. I am so happy with those plastic welds. Guys, it is really coming together. This is looking so, so, so good. And about an hour later, guys, we have made so much progress. We got the wheel well back on this side. We have both headlights and they're both mounted really, really, really good. Um, we have these two pieces just because I have them. Again, I just want to clear up the garage of as much things as possible. Put it on this car uh, because we're going to have to wait a while anyway. We put on this guy right here. We put on the crash bar uh, on this side because this side, everything is good. And they're probably going to need this anyway so they can put on the crash bar and do some test fitting once that frame has been cut off and replaced. So at this point, guys, we, don't, we have all this assembled. We even have the hood latch and everything ready to go. So I want to slap on the hood but before we do that this hood hinge is good but this hood hinge is the reason why our windshield cracked um look at that look how terrible that looks and that's because this bad boy right here got bent from the accident got pushed back into the windshield cracked the whole windshield um so yeah this thing needs to get replaced i think to replace this we need to remove this guy right here um these are coming in the mail right now so i cannot wait for them to come as soon as they come in we'll slap on the hood it's gonna be a huge transformation but let's just go ahead and try to figure out how we can get this out without removing the fender because i really don't want to remove a bunch of screws to get this fender off just to do that. I might even have to remove the headlight again just to do that because I forgot about that. So let's see if maybe we can get at it from the top by just removing this guy. out with the old we're just now waiting on the fedex truck so we can get the brand new hinge so we can install that hood oh man i'm just so stoked and just like that guys we got the box hopefully this is the right box um hopefully it's not something else because then we'll be still waiting and that was fedex so uh you know, I don't know why he wouldn't deliver both packages if we had another package. Anyway, I don't know why I keep talking. Is this the hood latches? And yes, it is, my friends. So it looks like actually these ones come with the shocks as well. I'm not gonna go ahead and install the shocks because you have to remove the whole fender to replace the shock. My shock's perfectly fine. Um, and we did order both pairs. We don't actually need both sides. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the side that we need to replace. All right, guys, so here's our new hood strut piece. So uh, let's go ahead and install this. And hopefully, hopefully, everything should just bolt on properly. I don't know. I think this came off of like a 2014. This is a 2019. But I don't see how there would be any difference. So let's just go ahead and try to install this bad boy. So now that we got all this stuff situated, guys, we have the brand new hood latch on there in the strut. Good to go. Let's go ahead, uh, mount the screws onto this, transfer that over to that and uh, hopefully it shuts. This is what we got so far, guys. We got both headlights mounted properly. We have the hood on there. Everything's looking good pretty much from the top end all the way to the back on both sides. We got everything situated here, and we got everything situated on the driver's side as well. So um, at this point, I actually want to clean off all this dirt. Um, down here, obviously, is the significant damage that needs to be addressed. But other than that, I mean, this thing's really coming together. Last night, I actually got a full parts list of everything else we actually need to get this thing on the road. So again, in the next video, I'll show you guys what that is exactly and what my plans are for this car because as of right now I'm kind of like borderline later today I'm actually talking with the body shop guy about this car to get a final quote on this thing and uh, I actually know how much it's gonna cost when the time comes in a possibly two to three months when this thing actually gets on the frame machine I'll let you guys know as soon as I know but for now guys I really want to get this thing outside on the driveway and just wash her up it is about time at least now she has three uh, tires 
She can drive. She's looking pretty decent. She has headlights. She's looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. transformation but uh, I think the number and again I keep hinting this I think the number of what's left to fix this is gonna spook some of you guys so uh, yeah future video to come the reason I keep hinting that guys is that that doesn't look like much damage into a typical car you would think okay yeah you just need a bumper you know some radiator support stuff like that you know probably like a thousand bucks after painting and everything you know that's not the case with this exact so if you guys want a update video of what's going on with the i3 make sure to smash that like button I'll get it to you guys hopefully in the next video as far as the M3, we're actually gonna get it towed down to get a proper alignment on this thing. Uh, well, alignment that will work with the current way the suspension set up because the subframe is a little off because of that one bolt being missing. Actually, I don't really know if the subframe is off by that one bolt being off, but at the same time, I just wanna get this thing smogged. I wanna get the alignment done on the car so we can finally drive this thing because I need to actually drive this thing to LA in a couple of days. We're actually taking this thing to LA to get the raw bearings down and get the whole front end painted by SSR Auto Body and SSR Performance. So I'm super hyper for that. So yeah, future updates to come on that and also guys one last thing let me know and actually if you guys can help me i need to get a trailer on this channel we need to get a trailer i just feel like with all the bills that we're constantly getting especially the ones that are not driving if we had a hitch on a trailer life would be so much easier so if any of you guys are selling a trailer or know of anyone that's selling a trailer um send me some links on instagram i'm gonna take a look at them and the one that end up buying and if you guys end up sending it i'll send you guys a care package of merch because i do appreciate you guys this time but without further ado guys that's gonna have to conclude this video i love you guys so much remember to stay Stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.